everyone. For sequence a sub n, the sum of the first n terms is s sub n equals 3 times a sub n plus 1 plus 4 for our natural numbers 1, 2, 3, and so forth. Now when the fifth term is 18, we want to find the value of the seventh term. So basically, uh, we already know what um, s sub n equals, and we need to find a sub n. And the way to find a sub n is like if you have certain numbers here. Let me do the sum here. So if you have a sequence here, and we're trying to find the sum, so that would be some sequence. To get this term here, what you can do is take this whole sum and then subtract this sum. So if you take the the big sum and subtract uh, this, this sum here, you're going to be left with this one term. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take, um, let s sub n equal what they gave us, 3 times a sub n plus 1 plus 4 then that means the, uh, the terms before that last term, s sub n minus 1 equals um, 3 times a sub n, and you substitute in minus 1, minus 1 plus 1, plus 4. So this minus 1 plus 1 is just going to be 0, so it's just going to be a sub n. All right, now that you have that, we're going to subtract them to get our a sub n. So basically, we're going to take s sub n minus s sub n minus 1. All right, so basically, we're subtracting. We call this equation 1 and this equation 2. So if we take equation 1 minus equation 2, uh, the 4s are going to cancel, and you're going to get a uh, factor out of 3. You'll get 3 times a sub n plus 1 minus a sub n and I just factored out the 3. All right, now that we have that, let's go ahead and finish up the problem. Um, we know what a sub n is, so this equals your a sub n. Now, let's solve for a sub n. So if you have a sub n equals 3, um, a sub n plus 1 minus 3 a sub n, then what I'm going to do is add this to both sides, so you get 4 times a sub n equals 3 a sub n plus 1. All right, so that means um, if I solve for a sub n plus 1, that's going to give you 4 thirds a sub n this is when you have more than uh, two or more terms, all right? That means our sequence is geometric with our first term is going to be a sub 2. So our first term is going to be a sub 2, and our common ratio is 4 thirds. All right, so let's finish this up. Um, we have a sub 7, so what we're looking for, equals uh, 4 thirds times the previous term, which is a sub 6. Um, now we need a sub, we have a sub 5, so I can write this as 4 thirds squared, because this is your common ratio. Remember your um, fifth term is going to equal... Um, your first term times r to the power of 4. So we can write this as um, 4 thirds squared a sub 5. Now this is going to equal 16 divided by 9 times, now a sub 5, I should have written this as 6, uh, a sub 6, equals a times r to the power of 5. Sorry about that. So that's where you get the 5 here. So um, when you square this, you get 16 divided by 9. a sub 5 is 18, and this is going to equal 32.
And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.